안녕하세요곽구로입니다오늘은제연구분야가장중요한연구분야죠플라즈모닉스를소개하는것을한번찍어보려고합니다제가일반인들에게플라즈모닉스를소개하는것을한번찍어보려고합니다이거는어떤상황이냐면요그냥처음보는사람을만났어요그냥어떤모임이나어디에갔을때이제만나서너는무슨일을하니라고이렇게물어봤을때나는플라즈모닉스라는걸연구해라고얘기를해야되는그런상황에시작을해보도록하겠습니다 Three, two, one, go. So, what's your research topic? I do photonics. Uh, photonics is a study of photon, and photon is a particle of a light. Now, what basically photonics try to do is, we want to replace everything we're doing now with electronics into photonics. Yeah, so we want to replace electronics with photonics. Right? So like CPU and memory and everything, All the advanced technology we're enjoying with electronics, we want to do with photonics. All right, so we can enjoy this uh, beautiful mature technology of electronics because we have a good understanding of electrons. When that electron uh, enables electronics, so we want to have a good understanding of photon, which is a particle of light, to enable electronics. So then the question comes, why do you want to replace electrons with photons? Well, that's a, obviously a good question. Sure, that we're already doing this is amazing well, technology. We're enjoying the mobile devices and CPU and computer and everything with these advanced electronics. But why do we want to do with photonics? With, we want to do with the light. Well, the answer is, electronics has fundamental speed limit. So it has fundamental speed limit. Uh, so it cannot overcome that limit in principle. That comes from the natural uh, principle. So basically it has a limit. And, but with photon, with the light, It works with the speed of light, which is the fastest speed in the world, in the universe. So that's the ultimate speed that we can use. So we want to change into uh, photonics. So we can increase the computation speed and the data transition speed uh, by replacing electronics with photonics. So that's our goal. All right. So that sounds good, and um, so we can make everything faster with photonics. That sounds very good, uh, but there is a little bit of problem here. Is the photon is bigger than electron? You get it? All right. The particle of light is bigger than the particle, the electron. You see, the light is, light is bigger than the electron. Can you get it? Um, really? Why? All right, yeah. Light is bigger than electron. I don't know if you have ever heard that um, matter wave, the matter wave of uh, electron is a lot shorter than the wavelength of a light. Well, the wavelength of the light can be considered as its size. So, Um, for example, if we try to see something with optical microscope, which basically use light, then certain objects smaller than the wavelength, you cannot get a good image of it because the light is bigger than that, that structure. But with electron microscope, which is a lot smaller than uh, wavelengths of light, you can get a nice image of those materials, which is smaller than light. So that means electron is a lot smaller than light. Then what's the problem? The problem is nobody wants to have big devices. We want everything 
small. We want to make mobile devices and computer or laptop or memories and everything. We want to make everything very, very, very small so that we can easily carry. But if light is the photonic devices are like 100 times bigger than electronic devices, then who would like to use it? Although it's faster, but it's too heavy and it's too big. So that's the problem. That is where plasmonics comes in. That's particularly what I do in the big field called photonics. In my field, plasmonics is a part of photonics. So in the plasmonics, we use metal such as gold, silver, aluminum as a material to reduce the size of our device. Then what, what is beautiful in plasmonics is we can still use the speed of light, which is the ultimate speed uh, in universe, the fastest, but we can squeeze the size of the devices into compatible size with electronics. So the, the for example, the size of the uh, a waveguide can be shrinked into uh, 30, 40 nanometers, with nanometer wide, which is electronic uh, device size and many other things can be many other sizes of size of many other things can be reduced into very small size and it can be similar to electronics all right so we have super fast speed and we have very small size then everybody's happy of course not there is a little bit of problem again in plasmonics then yeah uh, the speed is high, the size is small, but the problem is it is very lossy. So we'll lose lots of energies when we use plasmonics. So, um, so temporary solution is we use plasmonics in a very, when the size is very crucial, then we change into a dielectric photonics, which we don't use metal to when the size doesn't matter much. For example, the five optics is one, one thing. So we can keep the speed of the light. And for the very core device, which we want to integrate lots of things into a small size, and again, yet we want to keep the speed of light, then in that place, we use plasmonic devices. And that's where I work. So that's what Plasmonic is doing. So we're basically trying to make Plasmonic CPU, Plasmonic Waveguide, Plasmonic uh, every device that we're doing in electronics. Yeah. That's the introduction to my Plasmonics. Thank you. 네 이렇게 해서 제가 어, 주로 소개를 하는 사실 평소에 소개를 하는 레파토리입니다 네, 그냥 어, 누군가를 만나서 이렇게 너 무슨 연구하니? 그러면 나는 플라즈모닉스라는 걸 연구해 그게 뭐니? 아, 자 그래 나는 포토닉스라는 걸 연구하는데 잘 들어봐 이렇게 해서 포토닉스와 일렉트로닉스의 관계를 설명하고 근데 포토닉스의 문제점을 설명을 하고 그리고 포토닉스가 플라즈모닉스로 왜 넘어가는지를 설명을 하고 그럼 플라즈모닉스에는 어떤 문제가 있는지 이런 걸 설명을 합니다. 그 이후에 이제 그러면 그 대화가 계속 이어짐에 따라서 뭐 그럼 그걸 어떻게 극복을 하니 실제로 어떻게 응용을 하니 이런 얘기들을 더 하게 되는데요. 그럼 이제 그때 상황에 맞춰서 좀더 발전을 시켜 가시면 되겠습니다. 네 오늘 영상 여기까지고요. 재밌게 보셨나요? 어, 여러분은 각자 자기 연구 분야를 어떤 식으로 소개를 하시나요? 또 전문가를 만났을 때 같은 분야에서 일하는 사람들을 만났을 때는 소개하는 방법이 조금 달라질 수도 있겠죠, 그쵸? 네. 어, 그것도 한번 영상으로 만들어 보면 재밌겠네요. 네, 그것도 한번 생각해 보도록 하겠습니다. 자, 그럼 여러분 오늘도 즐겁게 연구합시다. 안녕! So don't go look at me with that look in your eye You really ain't going away without a fight
You can be reason with I'm done being polite. I've told you one, two, three, four, five, six thousand times. Haven't I made it obvious? Haven't I made it clear? Want me to spell it out for you? F R I E N D S. Haven't I made it obvious? Haven't I made it clear? Want me to spell it out for you? F R I E N D S. F R I E N D S. F R I E N D S. That's how we can spell friends. F R I E N D S. Get that shit inside your head. No, 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 yeah, hey, hey. F R I E N D S. We're just friends. So don't go look at me with that look in your eye. You really ain't going away without a fight.